Oh my gosh, it's everywhere. Don't you feel like that? I mean, I, I, I mean, not just with Kate and Megan, but like all over my Instagram. It's like her, all these vintage photos of Diana pop up all the time. I mean, when Diana kind of first came on the scene, how did she change the interest in the royal family? Because, you know, the paparazzi didn't change uh, chase the royals around every move that they made before Diana, really. So how did she kind of, you know, pique the interest in everybody? Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, I mean, if you look at Kate and Megan today and the attention that they get versus Will and Harry, you know, I mean, there's always something very interesting about a young, beautiful woman in the royal family. And um, certainly Charles, I think, got a lot of headlines himself. Um, but Diana, I mean, she just she sort of broke the mold and she sort of set the stage for everything that we um, see in terms of excitement around royal women today. She was young. She was gorgeous. She was you know, tall and blonde and she knew how to play to the cameras. You know, I mean, this is something Thing that you can see in those early paparazzi pics they're kind of scary you know there's a lot of cameras around her but she would every now and then just like give up you know a little glance a little smile um and she sort of toyed with them in a way and i'm not saying that you know she invited sort of the frenzy but it was there you know people were so excited about this and it was at a time when the media landscape was sort of exploding and so there were more places to put beautiful pictures and more tv networks you know to run footage of her and she was everywhere you know she became this like global media superstar yeah. yeah and you have written a lot about diana's fashion in your book and on your instagram account how would you describe her style when she first began dating charles and how it evolved Gosh, it's like it's like one of the great makeovers of our time because you look at those early pictures of Diana and you do not see or I did not see the global fashion icon that she would become. You know, she was a 19 year old girl who loved like a cheeky knit, you know, and some wellies. And she she dressed like much older than her years in some ways. You know, her headlines were long and her necklines were high and she um she looked like almost frumpy in a way, but like in a very like country girl, like endearing um, sort of style about her. And then, you know, very quickly after, um, you know, after the wedding um, and through the honeymoon and, and after she embraced a much bolder style and fashion became like such an integral part of her legacy because she used it so well. She used it to speak for her when she didn't have a voice and she knew she knew the attention that it got you know one of my favorite quotes in my book is from a photographer who said even if we didn't care about the engagement diana was attending we showed up to see what she was wearing like she knew it was a way to grab everyone's attention and like and that once once she had your attention you know she had your affection too I mean, and you make such a good point that she used her fashion to send messages and to speak to the press. I mean, obviously we have the famous black sheep sweater and things like that. So she, you know, and the, the revenge dress and things. So, I mean, what would you say is maybe her most, um, not controversial fashion statement, but one that made the, the biggest point? Well, I think, you know, in these early days, especially that black sheep sweater is just an iconic moment. And it's because she, I think it's because she wore it twice. So the first time she wore it was just before the wedding. And it's sort of hard to know, you know, I mean, she knew there'd be a lot of attention around her, but it's hard to know sort of her motivation in wearing it. But then she wore it again a couple of years later when she knew full well the attention that her wardrobe got. And she actually had, it was a second piece. She had another one made because she had, um, snagged um uh the first one but she wore it with like this black um bow at the neck and the tail of the bow reached down to the black sheep mm. and it was just like i mean it just it sort of stood for her sort of independence and outsider status and she just wore it with this like with this little grin you know when you look back at the pictures from those days and she's so glamorous and looks beautiful but she has this sort of like spirit about her and i think that you know those choices she they just they 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 like jump from the photographs you know you look at the pictures of her in, in just about anything and you and they just have such an energy about them and i think that's sort of how she used fashion like sometimes the messages were really obvious like that black sheep sweater um but but just like every time you could just tell that she chose what she was wearing very intentionally and she thought about it and she liked it you know she liked royal fashion and i think that's a big part of it too like you can just tell that she delighted in it and used it to such great effect how do you think her style is still influencing royals today? Oh my gosh, it's everywhere. Don't you feel like that? I mean, I, I, I mean, not just with Kate and Megan, but like all over my Instagram. It's like her, all these vintage photos of Diana pop up all the time. Um, and I think again, like some of it is, 
you know, things that you wouldn't think would have staying power, but like, I mean, she was the first to wear like a sweatshirt and bike shorts and now we're all doing it kind of thing. Um, I love when we see either Kate or Megan sort of pay homage to Diana with either like a subtle moment um, with fashion or something that's, you know, in your face. Um, Megan wears a lot of Diana's jewelry, which I think is just such a beautiful thing. And um and Kate, um, you know, at the James Bond premiere last week was just, <laughs> that dress was like an undeniable nod to Diana's dress at the James Bond premiere in the 1980s. Um, and I love that. And I think more than just sort of like honoring Diana with her fashion, it's a way to keep Diana in the conversation, you know, because you think about the ways in which the press reports on that and everyone says, Diana, you know, Megan's wearing Diana's watch. And then they, they resurface a picture of Diana and it like keeps her legacy alive. Um, and I think that's a really wonderful thing for Kate and Megan to do, to keep Diana, you know, sort of in the conversation and, and remind us of the incredible work she did.